what's up youtube welcome to dotnet mob in this video i will show you how to design and implement user registration or sign up form in c sharp if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this please be subscribed to this channel dotnet mob without further ado let's get started this is my visual studio 2013 now we have to create a new project for that you can click on this link here or go to file then new then project or you can use the shortcut ctrl shift and click on that under visual c sharp select windows then windows form application name your project here i will name it as user registration then select the location where you want to save this application then click on ok now we have the brand new windows form application it comes with a default form form 1 inside this form we have to design our form controls like this as per the given design we have one two three four five six seven so in total we have seven label text box pair let me add that for that go to view then click on toolbox first of all i am going to add a label here double click on it then we have a text box now arrange them in a same line like this we need six more pairs for that select all of them then hold control then drag them below like this before the last three text box label pair we have a horizontal line for that i will use a label here for that copy this label hold control then drag right click on the label then properties then change label text with a sequence of underscores that's it so here we have the horizontal line now we need to name these controls and text boxes that we can do later now we need to add one button for that double click on button here then drag them into the place now we have to change this form title for that right click on the form then properties change this into user registration or sign up that's it for now i will pause this recording we can continue after arranging and naming these controls boom now we have a decent looking user registration form like this first of all i have changed these form controls font into segio ui 12 pt then change these labels text according to the given design then name these text boxes as txt first name txt last name txt contact then txt address this text box is multi-line for that you have to click on this right arrow then check this multi-line checkbox then we have txt username then we have password then txt confirm password finally change this button text to submit now we have to name this control as bt and submit finally we have to mark mandatory fields for this user registration form for that i will use a red colored asterisk mark for that let me copy this label hold control then drag change text to asterisk mark change foreground color to red now hold control then drag them into password text box that's it so these two fields username and password are mandatory for this form now before continuing with this project we have to create sql server database for that let me switch to management studio first of all we have to create a new database for that right click on databases then new database 
then name your DB here I will name it as user registration DB then click on OK newly created database can be seen here inside that we have to create a new table for that right click on tables then table now we have to list columns for this table here first of all we have user ID as integer then we have first name as worker 50 then we have last name as worker 50 then we have contact as worker 50 then we have address as worker 250 then we have username username as worker 50 then we have password as worker 50 now I want to set this user ID column as the primary key for that right click on it then click on set primary key now I want to set this same column as the identity specification for this table for that go to column properties then expand identity specification then set this as yes so we don't want to insert values into user ID column SQL server will take care of that it will start from 1 and incremented by 1 upon new record insertion now in order to save this table you can use the shortcut ctrl s or you can click on this save button here name your table here tbl user click on ok newly created table can be seen under tables now we have to create a new store procedure for that right click on the database then click on new query in order to create a new store procedure you can start like this create pros user user add then here we have to list parameters for the store procedure for that let me copy these column names from here and pasting here before store procedure parameter we have to add at the right symbol for that I'm going to use a shortcut hold alt then drag along the left side of this editor then press at the right symbol now we need to pass data type for this user ID in the first name as worker 50 now let me copy this and pasting here since they have same data type address as 250 then we have username and password insert into tbl user then we have to pass column list for this table for that let me copy these column names from here and pasting here we don't want this user ID since it is a identity specification column remove that the first name put a comma here the last name contact address username and password now we have to pass values for that let me copy these column names from here and pasting here now we need to put at the right symbol here in order to create this store procedure click on this execute button here user add store procedure is created successfully you can see the newly created store procedure under store procedures user add now back to visual studio now we are going to do the insert operation of these details into tbl user inside this submit button click event in order to generate the event double click on this submit button so here we have the submit button click event now let me declare a string variable connection string to store the connection string of user registration db for now i will paste my connection string here 
now we have to import the namespace system dot data dot sql client now inside the submit button click event we can start with using statement as a resource we will declare sql connection object here as sql cone equals new sql connection inside that we will pass connection string for the database inside that we will open this connection using the open function below that we can write code for calling the store procedure in c sharp using statement is a best practice to interact with databases because we don't want to close sql connection at the end of using statement and if there is any error in between these lines of execution using statement will close the connection now let me declare sql command object here sql command as sql cmd equals new sql command first parameter will be the store procedure name itself let me copy this store procedure name user add from here and pasting here as a second parameter we have to pass sql connection object now we need to set command type for this object sql cmd dot command type equals command type dot store procedure now we have to pass parameters value for the store procedure sql cmd dot parameters dot add with value first of all we have first of all we have first name we don't need this user id let me get rid of this user id then change this create to alter then click on execute let me copy this first name from here and paste in here and we will pass this parameter value from first name text box dot text dot trim trim function is used to remove space from both ends like this we need to pass values for five parameters for that let me paste this five times here then last name then we have contact then address then we have username then we have password txt last name txt contact then we have txt address txt username and txt password Finally, we are going to execute this store procedure for that SQL CMD dot execute non query. After insert operation, we have to clear these form elements. For that, I am going to declare a new function here void clear. Now we have to clear all these text boxes. TXT first name dot text equals TXT last name dot text password dot text equals empty string now we can call this clear function here before that we will show the message box dot show registration is successful sorry here we have to clear confirm password also txt confirm password dot text equals empty string before this insert operation we have to check whether mandatory fields like username and password are filled or not 
after that we have to check whether this password and confirm password match with each other for that i am going to add if else block here if txt username dot text equals empty string or txt password dot text equals empty string then we will show the error message message box dot show please fill mandatory fields else if txt password dot text not equal to txt confirm password dot text then we will show the message password do not match password do not match in the else part we will do the insert operation that's it now let me run this application for that you can click on the start button here now let me test the mandatory fields for that i am going to submit this form without entering any field click on submit so it shows the message please fill mandatory fields now i can fill this mandatory fields but passwords are not matching click on submit password do not match if you want to hide these characters from password text boxes as a sequence of asterisk mark you can do that here right click on password text box and go to properties then set this password care as asterisk mark now i am going to enter some test data here smith password as one two three one two three click on submit so it shows the successful message let me check my db for that right click on the table then click on select top thousand rows so here you can see the submitted data as the first record that's it guys if you found this video helpful please be subscribed to this channel dot net more you can download this project source code and db script from the link given below in video description please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye